When you have an orthodontic consultation, the doctor will evaluate your or your child's teeth to determine what problems might be present. This video will show some of the more common problems. The first thing that your doctor looks at is the molar relationship. And how this is judged is by how the upper first molar touches the lower first molar. A problem with the molar relationship may just indicate that there's a tooth problem, but it could also indicate that there's an underlying growth problems with how the upper and lower jaw are related to each other. The normal molar relationship is where the front bump on the upper first molar fits into the middle groove on the lower first molar. And this is how orthodontists likes the molars to fit together. This is called a class one molar relationship. A class two molar relationship occurs when the front bump on the upper first molar is a little bit more forward to the middle groove of the lower first molar. Now it can be a little bit forward like it is here, and this is called a class two end to end molar relationship. Or it can be a lot more forward like here, where it's so much forward that the back bump is in the middle groove of the lower first molar rather than the front bump. And this is called a full cusp class two molar relationship. This molar relationship is usually associated with undergrowth of the lower jaw. A class three molar relationship is the opposite of a class two molar relationship. It is where the front bump of the upper first molar is hitting behind the middle groove of the lower first molar. And this type of molar relationship is usually associated with overgrowth of the lower jaw. Class two and class three molar relationships usually require orthodontic correction. Patients with class one molar relationship may require orthodontic treatment for other problems that may be present, but the class one molar relationship is the normal relationship. Crossbites are another thing that your orthodontist looks for in the back teeth. A crossbite of the back teeth is when the upper teeth are inside the lower teeth. Normally, the upper teeth should be totally on the outside of the lower teeth. If you have a crossbite, orthodontic treatment is needed to correct it. Of course, all orthodontists look for crooked teeth, both in the back teeth and in the front teeth. How severe the dental crowding is will determine the type and length of orthodontic treatment. Missing back teeth can cause problems with chewing as well as problems with shifting of the teeth. A missing tooth in the back may cause shifting of both the back teeth and the front teeth. Orthodontic treatment can help uh, prevent some of these problems and provide a more permanent solution for missing teeth. I hope you found this video discussing back teeth problems helpful. To find out about your own back teeth problems, please give us a call at Julie Staggers Orthodontics. We look forward to meeting you.